Let me see how this one turns out, guys. I know you guys got called out here before. Let me see how this one turns out, guys. I see a bunch of deputies over there. I already got him back of the cop car. Yeah. No, yo soy para la comunidad, oiga. Yo soy para que no le violen los derechos a la persona que está dentro del carro. No, hombre, si esa persona está más violada que yo. Estamos. <laughs> ya no le busco. It's the brother now, bro. Oh, it's the brother now? He's the one calling him, though. Está enfermo, está loco. Se fue a la guerra y vino de Santiago. Go ahead. Yeah, you good. You good. Go ahead. Yeah. I guess um, this is the car that we had came earlier a while back ago, and now it's the brother. Now he's in the back of the cop car. So let's see how this one turns out right now. We got all these sh sheriffs right here. Or just deputies. So. I know that the minute that the camera gets here, guys, you know, it changes the perspective on everything, guys, so. Yeah. Have you guys noticed the last time that we showed up, that guy right there tried to give me a directive, and it was not a good idea. Right. And last time they came, which one was it? Oh, the gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. He's inside? See, got the other one over It's always the two brothers, man. See. So, he llama la policía y se va. So this is what this guy does right here, guys. I guess they're tired of it already. I guess this guy keeps on calling the police and then he leaves, you know? So let's see how this one turns out, guys. And this is the second time that I pull up to the scenery right here. It's actually the second time. The other time it was they arrested the other guy, but they didn't arrest him, they detained him. And now, this guy is the one that called the police. He just he wanted to leave, but it was too late. Cheryl was already right here. Yeah. multiple calls to this location guys it's been multiple you know multiple calls to this location and apparently this guy stays calling the cops and then he calls the cops on his brother but then he leaves this guy leaves the scene so that don't make no sense you know what I mean
güey le hizo un cagadero, le quebró todo en el cuarto, todo trabajado. Pues sí, pues trae la pulsera para que mire todo lo que quebró y le pongan más. Es que está pero tiene esa madre. Ustedes son locos, ustedes han destruido todo el resto de su casa, man. This guy, our brothers, man, that live together. This guy. I kind of knew it was going to be about that, that brother, that same brother. I guess they're probably running his name, making sure he don't got no warrants and stuff. But I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have no warrants because they come here multiple times, they know his name. So let me see how this one turns out. Let me see what kind of decision making this sergeant over here on the, making you know, right here. Some of those cops, they knew they'd been here before a couple times, you know? They've been here a couple times to the same call, to the same house, you know? And that's now they finally got the guy in the back of the patrol car. So Pásale, pásale, pásale. Sí, they tell you they ain't got no respect, you know what I mean? They couldn't even move out the way so they could pass on by, you know what I mean? Even the lady with the man right there. So. Sí. Okay, they're gonna let him go watch. back in the same house, you know? No, you went back inside. I guarantee you this won't be the last time they'll be getting called, I'll tell you that. This will not be the last time, guys. Look at 
you could call the cops on themselves and they let him go. As you guys seen, he was inside the patrol car and they let him go. Keep us free safe, man. All right, you stay safe, man. Yeah, so we have it here, guys. I guess they just called the cops on him, and now it's over. The show's over now. Got nothing to talk about no more. That guy's hiding from the camera, but he's right next to me. <laughs> That's what it is. But I'll to the next one, man.